So, a little update. I seem to have a big block Chevy addiction. I seem to have acquired an additional six. But um, aside from that, I've been busy uh, working on my revised 8.1 intake. I've also started working on... I really need a tripod at some point. See if I can... I've also been working on... All right, come on, screw together. There we go. Hooray. I've uh, been working on a revised 88 intake and also a carburetor intake. And I've also been working on an 81 carburetor intake. So uh, it took me a couple prints to get the port height right. And then get all the measurements made, etc. But I finally got the port height right. Um, I've already got it designed. I just got to print, test print the uh, half, test fit it, make sure I got my cylinder cylinder offset right. There's no information available, and you contact anybody else who's done anything with this stuff. They don't want to give. They don't want to give you anything. So I, I, it's fine. I'll do it myself. But. Uh, I finally dug my engine stand out because I've got to test run my intake. And, um, oh, let me, hold on, let me go inside here. Okay, excuse the mess. My printer is working diligently. Um, these are my test pieces for my port redesign. I was trying to get some more uh, clearance. I was hitting a lot of stuff on the stock vehicle, and I'm making I'm making it so you can run single throttle body or dual throttle body. Um, this is a very early version of the. So that piece there bolts on here, and this goes on there. This actually I redesigned. I added ribbing and stuff, and structural to this so I can bolt dual throttle bodies on it or I can bolt a single like so uh, I gotta finish printing a couple more pieces even 3d printing some fuel rails and so I didn't want to have to buy extrusion and pay someone else to machine it for me but um, this up and do this but like that I just changed the shape of this and then because it reduced the height the clear the um, where the engine sits underneath the cow on the stock trucks um, some of my failures I had to move it into the kitchen because that's the only counter only surface I got that's big enough to hold my big printer and not shake the machine and knock stuff off, which I was dealing with over there on that table. You could jiggle the table because every time it changes directions, it jiggles the table, <clears throat> which is very frustrating. But anyways, uh, so that's what I'm working on. After I get this done, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on uh, both of the carb intakes and get those tests. And if I can get those fit and those work and I'm going to contact somebody to make uh, plastic, just one big plastic intake out of it. <clears throat> and then, um, unlike an aluminum intake, this is won't soak up heat. And uh, better on keeping the fuel cool and everything else. That's where I'm at with that.